Have the Japanese brands lost the plot? Have they lost their mojo? Why do they seem to put so little effort into innovating and updating? This recent news report highlights the issue. <笑>国家戦略特区の国家戦略特区として近々決定します医療教育農業そして雇用観光何がどう時代の要請に合わなくなってまさしく看板のような姿勢の体系に特区は改革のメスを入れています日本のフロンティアはアジア太平洋空越
ヤマハ TTR250 ニューモデルハズエグゾーストシートホイールズフレーム Finally, motorcycles have an uncertain future. Millennials are less inclined to buy a vehicle, let alone learn how to ride or drive. Emission laws may well kill off large capacity motorbikes. Environmental restrictions make the future of all off road riding very uncertain in some countries. In 2017, Honda CEO Takahiro Hajigo. Said, there's no doubt we lost our mojo, our way as an engineering company that made Honda Honda. Look, there's no doubt Japan is still making some awesome motorbikes, and they are as reliable as a brick shithouse, and often those old models are still great. I have just bought a brand new DR650 <laughs> that has barely changed since 1996. If you really want an update, here is what you will get. But can the Japanese brands become the innovative powerhouses again as they were in the past? And should they try? I'm keen to know your thoughts. Let us know in the comments. <laughs>